Found this guy in the garage. <laughs> Snuck into the garage the other day uh, prior to a cold front. I think it was getting kind of chilly. It's actually a member of the Rodinia genus, which is a genus of neotropical snakes. This is the only one that exists in the U.S., so that's kind of cool. And they are a rear fang snake. Very, very, very not dangerous to people, though. Harmless, but they eat frogs, little lizards, things like that. Uh, so I am going to put them in the backyard if I can find a place that looks suitable. Uh... So this log I've been letting rot for a while here. It uh, came down this direction during a storm after I did a little help of choppy chopping on it. And uh, there's some rotting areas and some bark still on it here and there. So I'm going to put it under here. Maybe if I can find a nice hole for it. See, that's, see, that's what they do. And here you go. And that's how you'd find them. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back down. Hopefully, it'll make its way into a better place tonight. But I'm heading out tomorrow for a trip. You'd think I'd be heading out for Hogtober, you know, hog season. But no, no, I'm not going to do that. Do something even cooler. I'm going to look for salamanders. And uh, remember to give me a subscribe, a like, do whatever you're going to do. But uh, I'll see you tomorrow on the road. All right, so, <laughs> all right, so. Heading out on the road now. I am about six or seven or eight hours away from my destination. It just depends how fast I want to drive. I'm not really in a hurry, so I guess maybe eight hours. I'm heading up to the mountains of North Carolina, a place I'm very familiar with. I've done a lot of searching and herping and surveying and uh, things like that in the area in the past. So I am going to regroup and regather myself. If I can do salamander mode, uh, maybe some snakes too on the way. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. We'll see. We'll find out. Uh, we'll do what we can do. See what we can do. I gotta make a quick pit stop. Well, unfortunately, the only snake so far is this dead baby yellow rat snake. Ah. All right, it's baby season. It's fall. There are little snakes heading out onto the roads. Little turtles. Little everything's. So just watch where you're going. You know, I mean. They're little and their parents are neglecting. It's just the way it goes when the, in the reptile community. So if you could just watch where your tires are headed, that would be great. You know? Good morning, I made it to my hotel last night really, 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 really late. Normally that wouldn't stop me from going out and herping and looking for things I'm looking for, but I was exhausted. Anyways, it is a balmy 41 degrees outside and, and froggy. And that's why I'm wearing this hat and this uh, long johnny, I guess, sort of waffle comb looking thing. I'm gonna head out into the road pretty soon, down into the Hickory Nut Gorge and look for some salamanders. Right, going down into the Hickory Nut Gorge now, where there's lots of waterfalls and all the kinds of other geological features. So it's pretty cool. And it also, what it did was it separated uh, the species of salamanders from other genetic populations of similar species. So there are unique species of salamander down here. There is the Hickory Nut Gorge green salamander, Aeneides carinensis, which is obviously named after the region, simply enough. And then you have the crevice salamander, which is basically a Yonahalasi salamander with more dorsal lateral flattening. Uh, this more reliant on crevices than the Yonahalasi. And it also has a lot less of the walnut colored, reddy, reddish color on the dorsum. It's more blotchy and separated. And some don't have any at all or very, very little. Uh, so that's another cool salamander there. Um, so we're gonna get up there and look around, see what we can find. All right, I'm checking out my first rock outcropping. Let's see what we got here. Cave crickets. Lots and lots of cave crickets. I will keep trying. Not something I was expecting to see this morning. It's actually a DOR, a dead on road copperhead. Um, yeah.
All right, so I'm on the board with salamanders. Uh, so a waterfall up here, as you can see. Great place for Desmognathus species salamanders, as well as spring salamanders that love to feed on Desmognathus, which are the dusky salamanders. Okay, we've got a bat cave. Yonahalasi, or a crevice salamander, or a plethodon, longicris. <laughs> can you see him in there? It's quite a big one. I don't know if I can get him out or not, or if I should. I don't really want to mess with them too much. But that's uh, still pretty cool. There we go. You can see the chestnut coloration, but it's also reduced, not like the Yonahalasi, which is basically most of the back or the dorsum. And this guy has just a faint amount, and uh, that's about it. I am going to let him go now. See what else I can find. All right, we got a baby five-line skink. I mean, hey guys, it's something, right? Outer sunning itself, it's probably only 50, 55, maybe 60 degrees, but the sun sure feels really good on him. Oh, there he goes, back into the crack. up to this outcropping here and it has some fantastic looking fissures and cracks that'd be perfect for uh, anything that lives in cracks you know crickets springtails trolls salamanders I guess but anyway the very first thing I see is a where'd he go there he is crevice salamander another Bat cave, Yana Halasi. He's just out here hanging out in this rock face. And uh, so far, that's it. There might be a little better angle here. These are really nice looking salamanders. And their toes are a little squared off as well as their dorsal ventrally flattened, as you can kind of see maybe right there. I can't tell, I don't know. And their eyes are a little poppier. You know, these are, these are scientific terms. So it's not what I'm looking for. I've seen these many times. And I've actually seen the Hickory Nut Gorge Green Salamander before. Lazy, laziness, just didn't photograph it. But there you go, check it out. I'm gonna let him go on his way or let him just sit there, I guess, and keep hunting some cracks. All right, this is pretty cool. All in one small little area, there's a Blue Ridge Great Cheek Salamander right there, a young one. And another Great Cheek here. And then also a Crevice Salamander right here, all in situ. But even cooler, there's a, if I can focus on him. If I can get in here and focus, and I did sort of, there he is. Mountain Dusky Salamander. That is pretty cool. All out and about. And honestly, I don't know if this dusky salamander was preying upon this one or trying to. It's missing, a, it's got a freshly missing tail. You can see that. Huh. Perhaps, I mean, why not? Could be. No green salamanders right now. Uh, although this is the exact spot we got them in, I'd say 
10 years ago. So I came back to see if I could have the same luck and maybe get a photo. All right, I'm gonna let these guys get on their way. All right, guys, cool. Check this out. This is what we were looking for. This is the Aeneides carianensis, which is the Hickory Nut Gorge green salamander, described only two years ago, almost two years ago, 2019. And as you can see by looking at it here, they have a lichen-like pattern, kind of a greenish, sort of gold flecky coloring on the, on the back on these little blotches. Uh, this is actually one of the main distinguishing features, or at least one of the few main distinguishing features from the other uh, species here on the east coast, east of the Mississippi, uh, the Aeneides Aeneas, which is the other green salamander, the one that this was actually split from, or, you know, at one point was uh, uh, thought to be the same. Yeah, their coloring is a little more tense, well, not as matted looking, so... That is one of the reasons. They are also a uh, longer-legged salamander, longer-toed salamander, and they have more maxillary teeth, which is something we're obviously not going <laughs> to take a look at. Uh, they're a member of the Aeneides family. Aeneides are the climbing salamanders, most of which are on the west coast, and one of which is vagrants. Aeneides vagrants, the wandering salamander, and climb upwards of 300 feet into these huge redwoods, which is really cool. And also Aeneides does mean in Greek, shapeless, which I think is stupid because uh, they have a shape. Check out this shape, man. It's so mean. A little flat, you know, a little flat here and there, but no big deal. Still a shape, right? And I'm going to let him just head on down into this crack. And I will see you later, buddy. And my camera again is not focusing.